Okay, let's do this. <laughs> this is the second video of Social Talk, and in this series, six part series, we're talking about implementing effective Facebook ad campaigns. And what I want to make clear about the first video is that I'm talking about creating a Facebook marketing campaign through the Facebook Ads Manager. Okay, so you can you can boost an ad through the actual Facebook page and also through Business Manager. However, in order to use all the tools I'm talking about, you, you need to use the Ads Manager. The second part of the series is focusing on targeting. You, you might be targeting a cold audience or a warm audience. Now, the difference between a cold audience and a warm audience, a cold audience is someone who possibly never heard about you, your products or your service. And obviously, the way you target them and the way you speak to them is different to targeting a warm audience who are people who know about you maybe have interacted with you have seen other ads by you maybe have liked your page maybe have visited your website um, so that's a warm audience okay when targeting a cold audience you can target at three different levels on the Facebook Ads Manager you can target by demographics by interests and by behavior. Now, when it comes to demographics, it's quite obvious, but there's also other things like life events, like relationships, also work. So the second consideration is interest. So obviously through pages they've liked, through posts they've interacted with, Facebook has garnered data on what people are interested in. And then there's there's behavior, which is also very interesting. Here, yeah, basically, behaviors you have, you know, the, some of them are more relevant than others, to be honest. So there's, um, you know, whether their anniversary is anytime soon, which may be relevant to different products or services you may be offering. Obviously, politics relates to the US. Um, uh, this is interesting, the travel, you know, whether they're frequent travelers, commuters, and also the purchasing behavior, engaged shoppers, meaning they clicked, you know, a call to action, a shop now button recently. So, so apart from these three kind of considerations you can target by, you can also target through connections and also custom audiences. So connections is, for example, people who like your page or people who have engaged with your post. Now, again, this is more when it's targeting a warm audience, okay, more than a cold audience. So you can, you can literally retarget people who are already connected to you, as you can see. And then there is the, the custom audience. What you can do is literally um, target people who have bought already, people have visited your site. And also, if you ran a Facebook ad campaign before, for example, it was a video ad, you can also retarget the people who watched your ad. You can see, for example, you can tell Facebook, okay, I want to retarget to the people who watch 75% of this video. And what you can also do with Facebook targeting is create lookalike audiences. So you can tell Facebook who your who the people who have interacted with you or who have visited your website are and Facebook can find people with similar characteristics and attributes who are obviously more prone to being like them and more prone to um, acting the same way as them. Yes, when it comes to targeting, especially going back to the behaviors and the interests and all that, it's important not to go too literal and, and also target people for complementing interests that they might have. So, for example, if you target, if you're marketing, I don't know, women's shoes, you know, you can literally target women, you know, age demographic that you're looking at from, you know, the countries that you're looking at who like women's shoes or have purchased women's shoes. However, it may also be interesting to target women who have liked certain pages, for example, of, of clothing or jewelry with the same price point, the same core customer, target customer, ideal customer as yours. So that's something to think about. If you have tried something in the past and maybe it hasn't worked, check again because the algorithm is getting smarter the facebook algorithm is getting better and better especially when it comes to the lookalike audiences um i have tried it in the past and 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 what happens is that when it's a very very small market facebook struggles like the bigger the pool the better when it comes to targeting it's good to go macro first and then possibly analyze your ad and see you know which demographic which type of audience performing the most or you can split test you can split test different ads or different audiences and see which audience performing the most and again you know plug in the budget to that to that campaign
Another very important thing when it comes to targeting is that when it's a cold audience, when someone has never heard from, from you, you need to have a strategy, you need to have a campaign, you need to have a content plan that obviously will help lead to you generating results. It's not a matter of having one ad and that's it. It's a matter of having a plan and a strategy in place. It's important to always give value to your audience when you're marketing. People want value, people want interesting content. And I believe that if done well, marketing doesn't have to be negative. Advertising doesn't have to be negative. I mean, if I'm on the market for a product that, that fixes my hair and it's going to take me time to look and ask and see if the ad comes in front of me and it's from a brand that I trust and has built, you know, it has built its brand with me and it's selling this and I have the product that exactly addresses the problems you have, then that is helping me, it's a win-win. And also, just something else that's really, really important is you have to have an amazing product or service. That's where it all starts. If you do have a great product or service, then, then it's just a matter of getting the right tactics and strategy and all that to getting get this uh, communicating to the right people. And this uh, targeting step is very, very important because what happens is if you go blanket, if you go to everyone, people who might not even be interested in you, you know, you're just going to spend a lot of money to reach the right people. Whereas if you go to the right target audience, then you're going to maximize your budget and in order to obviously generate the results that you want. I hope you like this video. I really, really, tr I'm trying to keep them short because if people are like me, they have, they're really busy and maybe don't have a lot of time to spend watching videos. If you like this video, hit like. Is it this way? Not this way. I think it's this way. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to be notified on the next video coming, the next step to running effective Facebook ad campaigns, uh, please click subscribe, which I think is somewhere here. And hit click on the bell so you can be notified. And if you would like any more information, it would be great if you could comment below. Bye, see you next time. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this I'm going to cut up. Uh, what happened there? Hmm. Um, what was I saying? Blah. What was I saying? I just realized that I recorded it in the... Oh my god. I just realized that I recorded this in the wrong format, but this is gonna have to... I'm gonna have to somehow try and make it work. Because it was meant to be landscape, but it's square. But we'll have to make it work, okay? Because this is the slot I had to record it, and...